everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. We move on to Michi Michi V, uh, Michi Mochi V, and Matara Khan, who are, you know, former members of Hollywood slash Niji Sanji. And they're talking about struggling with gossip that happened within Niji Sanji. Which is, you know, it's unfortunate that anything like that actually happened to them. It's unfortunate that there was ever gossip. But once you get a large group of people in there, there's bound to be gossip that happens at some point. And that is the unfortunate part about being a part of a large organization. I'm not purposely trying to pick a fight with my friend. And I'm not purposely egging on a fight, never. But if a fight comes, I'm genuinely a little bit like, ooh, this is exciting. I get to see if I like hit that deeper level of friendship with this person. Or if this person stays a casual friend. Because I, I need to see how people fight. Because again, I'm so sensitive. Oh I'm, I'm, you know this about me. I'm so sensitive. <laughs> that's the thing like I'm such a little baby <laughs> my mom has always told me it's like you don't know who they are until you've worked with them and I, I i put that into like a lot of aspects in my life where it's like i don't know who you truly are unless you're like until i see you under pressure i was like i'm just telling under us about what good one. Uh, love bombing was so i get it now like yeah, it, it's like, I feel like I don't know someone unless they're like really under pressure and then they're mm -hmm. about to break, right? And it's like, mm. how do you react? Like, are you the type that's like lashing out to people or do you handle this oh, nicely? Yeah. Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's like, that's when I can categorize it. But I will say this, I would love to be like, no, bestie, I get you, right? Like, I don't mm -hmm. start conflict. But today I talked about it a little bit. Uh, you, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. But I think this is why I, I very much, even though both you and I went through a lot of hell, I somewhere in my mind genuinely forgive. First of all, a lot of those people were very young, so I don't blame them. Like, I don't think they realize how much pain they caused us, and it's fine because they're so young and they won't get it. Like, I get it. You know, you're you're a child. Not a child, you're a teenager. But another part of it is like, I get it because I've also been in that part of my life where like, I like to gossip. I like to be like, oh my God, no, she said what? Oh, he did that? No mm -hmm. way. So because of that, I genuinely get it if people do the same. Oh my God. But, okay, Ooh, I will agree gossip. to that. I do that too. Like, listen, chat. <laughs> Is this really a red flag? Yes, but at least it's not too, too bad. Okay, sometimes when it gets too bad, you're like, okay, let's reel it in. You know, let's, let's just reel yeah, it in a yeah, little yeah. bit. But if it's like, oh my God, this happened. I'm like, tell me more. Yeah, yeah. It's not like, it's like, oh, did you hear? Da, 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 yeah, da. I'm not going to involve other people. I'm not going to be like, oh my God, Mata, no. come watch. Like, of course not. It's my thing. No. So I'll be like, oh my God, you feel this way? Don't even stress. And I'm like, no way they did that. Yeah, yeah. You should do something about it. <laughs> <laughs> don't get engaged. Like, not don't get it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Like, oh, so yeah. if anything, all jokes aside, you actually were like, don't get engaged. Like, not don't get it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> don't get married. <laughs> no, 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 no. Divorce. No, 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 no. Consume that guy. No, no, no. <laughs> no, she meant like, don't engage with. <laughs> but, okay, like, I know my boundaries. Don't get engaged, okay. Matara. Eat him instead. <laughs> I know the boundaries. I'm not going to egg something. If it's like genuinely dangerous, I'm going to be like, okay, don't. But if it's like mm. light banter, sure so that's what i mean when i'm like You're sometimes so i like funny. starting trouble because like don't if get it's, engaged like, little trouble you know like if it's small tiny issues why not yeah. but if it's like a and that is something that um like i can understand that if it's not going to be something huge if it's not going to be something like intense or oh like you know i want to do this to somebody like as in physical harm to somebody no that's going to be a no but i think everybody no matter what no matter how nice they try to pretend to be they will be like, ooh, what's going on here? And maybe put in an ear, maybe not engage with the situation, even if it's small, light banter, but they're gonna like listening. They're gonna let the person vent and then maybe they'll maybe they'll take it out on someone, you know, mention it to their family or whatever. They probably won't ke keep it public. Like I'll listen in to some issues that people have. I will not engage with the issue. I will not egg anybody on. I will not say, ooh, you should do this or ooh, you should do that. I won't do that because it's none of my business, but I will like anybody else. Like, the people like tea. People definitely like tea. It's obvious, especially on the internet. People love tea. So people will listen in, just as long as you don't egg them on to anything more aggressive or anything more, you know, bad. Or egg them on to do anything, period. Just listen in. That's what I do. I just listen. I'm just an ear. I do not spread it. I do not continue it. I do not continue any toxicity, but I listen in, as a lot of people do. This is a little bit of a, um, I guess it wouldn't be a meme. It's more like a, a, a situation that Matara went through. Uh, Matara only wanted a place where she loved and she found it. Where she was loved and she found it. And this is basically the uh, one of Linkin Park's songs. I want to heal. I want to feel like I'm close to something real. I want to feel like something I wanted all along. I want to find something I've wanted all along, somewhere I belong. Yeah, that's that's one of the Linkin Park thingy-madoops. So, Tyranid Screech of Victory. 
Uh, seriously, though, happy. Our wine bug is feeling like she belongs now. So she found a place where to belong now. She has Vishojo. She has a group of friends. Still, some of them may still be in Hollywood in that place. But she has said before uh, that that place didn't make her feel very you know, inclusive. Didn't make her, make her feel like she was, she just felt more tolerated in the community. I don't, I'm not sure about the people behind the mask of the, you know, the other VTubers. She didn't mention them very much because she doesn't like, you know, pushing that type of stuff out. But she said in the community, she didn't, she felt more tolerated than, um, than loved. And that is not a good way to feel. And in here, in Vishojo, she's very much loved. The Lions triggered another childhood song in my head, Hercules, I Can Go the Distance. Remember when there were BS rumor going around that the Nidisanji AX concert was canceled because of threats of violence and the NDF sisters were complaining about what horrible bullies the aunties were for canceling it. And they actually did was mock the ticket sales. Yeah, it turns out that was some hardcore projecting. Feel bad for most of the Nidisanji and livers and all the Nidisanji ID livers and India livers and Korea livers, in my opinion, um, because they, they fell by the wayside because EN just didn't care. I feel bad for the fans who were just fans of their Ochis, Niji Sanji Livers, past and present, and who were not delusional and parasitic lunatics. I particularly feel bad for the Livers whose dreams and finances were crushed by Niji Sanji, our moral, uh, amoral approach to business. I also feel the slightest bit bad for the Niji Sanji managers who are giving the impossible task of trying to manage six plus talents with almost no experience and ever changing rule set. Yes, the managers who just pop in, the low level managers, I do feel bad for them because they're put in a very bad situation. The upper management, I don't feel jack squat for them. They are money hungry and they really don't seem to care about anything other than the bottom dollar. I'm talking about the very high level management, the CEOs, COOs, CCOs, all the C-level execs, all, all the, 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 uh, the three letter execs out there, those with the MBAs and such, those people I feel no remorse for because they really are just trying to wring everyone dry. I do not feel bad for the NDF. They are the worst unicorns I've ever seen. Get F wrecked. Um, I love, live, love, lactate. Oh, God. I initially got interested in her because her name sounds like one of the, pers uh, uh, the one persona skill. In case people have no idea where the lyrics are from, it's actually from Somewhere I Belong, Canadian Rock Band, Linkin Park. Yes, exactly. It is Linkin Park. I know because I've been a fan for a very long time. Once uh, Chester kind of passed away, I kind of moved away from it. Because it hurt to, you know, listen to the music and stuff like that, knowing that the person is gone. It's kind of one of those things. Like I say, I've always said, uh, parasociality is normal in human relationships. Uh, just don't take it too far. That's my opinion. Larger, more prominent voices are talking about Bungo Taiga nowadays. You have, you know, Kyo. I think Falls talked about him a little bit. Now Rev is talking about them. I am glad that any larger person is creating something to kind of bring attention to the Bungo Taiga situation because it is something that I've been going for. I've been putting things out, but I'm not a huge creator. So I don't get like hundreds of thousands of views. So when someone that does get hundreds of thousands of views put something out, it helps the situation more. It brings more prominence to it. It brings more eyes to it. Maybe someone who can help the situation. It Whether you agree with the people or not, whether you agree with the people, the type of people that are doing it, a lot of people are, like myself, are uh, controversial just in the fact that we do look at these, these drama situations, these news situations, and we are seen as, uh, in some cases, drama farmers, etc. Whatever you see us as, see it still as a good thing that at the very least the communities that we are part of are starting to hear and see about it and maybe have the ability to do something. Bungo Tiger situation is finally being heard. Implore you guys to spread the word. Implore you guys not to let another smile vanish. And this was about uh, the virtual YouTubers subreddit banning people. Uh, it says speculation, rumors, and opinions from third parties, etc. Uh, this person is saying, Rich, to be said from the subreddit that made sure Taiga is where he is thanks to their speculations. I think that's one of the reasons they changed the rules. All this recent stuff here, the rule 8B and that kind of thing, is due to the revamping of the rules, the recent revamping of the rules, which makes a lot of things, a lot of, you know, quote unquote news stuff uh being more unless you have direct sources they treat it as speculation which is fine uh it is their subreddit they can run it however they want and this is the one where the thing was deleted uh it says posting legal mindset video and now rev video is a good way to most people dismiss the issue entirely um but yeah it's just i legal mindset is not liked by a lot of people rev is not liked by a lot of people but the point is the message is the one that should be looked at not the messenger if the message is still good then the messenger can be the well yeah they can still be the but a person that isn't liked, but I don't see anything that can really should be making people be like, ah, screw this message, you know, that type of thing. Next talk was uh, to be an attention seeking D bag, according to this person. Vishojo Cruz dunking on him back then was justified, according to this person again. And of course, <clears throat> there's a lot of posts about this situation. 
And um, so I think Rev, Kyo, LM are all garbage people, but if they're bringing attention to an actual issue, I'll hold my tongue and appreciate them spreading the word until they give me a reason to criticize them. That is that is legit. I mean, the same thing with me. There are a lot of people who don't like me. Uh, but as long as they give me credit, if I'm doing something right, and they look at the content that I'm putting out, then and they still criticize me, then I take those criticisms as constructive ones and I, you know, benefit from them. I change things if I can. Um, avid Eric a viewer, watch Taiga and seriously concerned about his life. Vintage based archives, which is one of the people that's going against him, has shown himself to be completely psychotic and he knows where Taiga lives and his blackmail Taiga behind closed doors. I'm, I need proof for this, honestly. Even if I don't like the guy, even if this guy has, you know, maybe not been the best person out there, not been the best uh, way to share their message, whatever message that is. I need proof about, you know, blackmailing Taiga. I know that they're one of the people that's trying to get him deplatformed and keep him deplatformed. And I will criticize him on that, though. But still, I do want to be the type of person that takes everything with a grain of salt until it is proven otherwise. And, of course, I want you to do the same. This is the meme in regards to the situation that happened with Doki Bird being a third wheel to someone trying to you know find a way to date somebody uh they were talking to and then they asked are you are you and peter still together and it's like yes uh we are basically this is what this one's trying to copy of and that's the guy's look the guy's look is like huh <laughs> basically when it happened on apex it's like huh oop oop <laughs> when she heard the fact that the dude got basically turned down burned to a crisp right publicly in front of everybody it was, you know, it was sad. It was a moment that is going to live for the ages. The person is never going to be forgotten. Pour one out for him. Of course, remember the guy Salt, I believe his name was. Pour one out for him. Sayu had fun with her most recent video that she made. Uh, she was streaming yesterday about a Suica style game that was put out there. Uh, you know, the, the one where you, you get similar ones. It gets bigger, bigger, bigger until it pops and that type of thing. Uh, Sayu is not petan. Don't believe the slander. I come with receipts. Uh, visual evidence of Sayu is has huge melons. And it, the name of the game is called Qu Cute Suika. The developers, from what she said, reached out to her and said, we want to put you in a Suika game, in, the, in our Suika game. She asked them, it's like, how is that going to happen? Because I don't have, you know, big bedonkers or, you know, big, big chest. Uh, and she's like, they're like, don't worry. We'll make you the biggest one of all. And then she just laughed and she was like, okay, go ahead and do it. I guess I guess she didn't know or didn't think that they would actually do it. But look at that. She got she's got the biggest biggest water balloons there. She's got the biggest water balloons, the Wayu balloons there. Uh yeah. Well, if she's that big, let me carry them. Those things are a hell of an old lady. <laughs> of course, people are gonna be thirsty for that. But still, it was hilarious seeing that. Um and she she ended up uh doing well in the first round. And I think after that, with the uh, fasterness, and then you have some some pervy um I think they're comets and other things that disrupt everything. It's it's a fun game. It looks like a fun game overall. It is a tongue-in-cheek game compared to the other Suica games where before it was just fruits and stuff. You start off as fruits and then you end up becoming bigger and bigger and bigger as things go along. So that is, you know, a fun little thing. She really, really enjoyed it. She said she wants to be a part of gotcha games, like have have her be a part of a gotcha game. Uh, but the Suica game was an amazing thing for her. I'm glad she's in a game. That means the world is healing. Things are getting better. And Sayu is finally seeing the success that she deserves. An interesting thing that I popped up in my feed is this. The identity of Momo Otako will be retired, but not graduating from Idol. This is a weird situation. It might be a rebrand. Um, it, it, is, it is odd. But let's read what happens. I've wanted to write this for a very long time, and I'm glad I'll be able to do that today. As y'all probably know, there often was communication with my ex-management team. It is because of this that I took an extended and unplanned hiatus. Once the merger started, as we speak to the new management team, and with their help, I was able to realize what I feel would be the best for me to achieve my dreams. I have decided that I will retire my identity as Momo Otako. This doesn't mean I'm graduating, but more updates will come in the next few weeks. I'm still committed to fulfilling all of my Donathon goals and rewards. So please look forward to it. Thank you all for supporting me as Momo. I hope to continue to support me in my new future. So it looks like a rebrand. Um, it's going to be a not Momo moment. It's going to be a rebrand. Uh, it's going to be a re reviving of her spirit, of their spirit, to 
do VTubing, if this is what it takes for them to enjoy VTubing again, for them to enjoy their community again, then I'm all for it. And I'm glad that the new management team at Brave, they've been doing really good things with, with uh, Idol. First, the fact that they allow all of their talents to graduate if they wanted to. And when they graduate, they give them the option, you can keep your IP. All we ask is for revenue share for one year. Because guess what? Sometimes people can't pay the thousands of dollars that it, an IP is worth to a company. So they're like, look, instead of making you pay whatever, $10,000 for your IP or however, whatever price they want to put, they said that they understand that people's financial situations do not fit that a lot of times. And what they mean by that is that some people like me would be way too poor to buy my, to buy my stuff. I'd have to take out a loan to try to buy that. But if it's revenue share and I'm popular, like for example, Rin Penrose left, if I'm popular, have a revenue share, they can get that money back or at least some of that money back. And I don't have to pay that money right away. They can do a 50-50 split of revenue of profits, of sharing of profits after expenses and things like that for merch, etc. The profits that come back to me, they can do 50-50 or whatever it is to get that as soon as possible. And I'd still be in a good position because I still get 50% of the proceeds after all expenses and everything that the profit. She's known as Redacted Idol. Uh, name me, maybe temporary, don't know, maybe dumb. At this point, it sounds like none of the Endless Girls had any sort of management till Lonnie came in. Remember Kai mentioning in a member stream earlier this year that she was being shuffled between managers constantly, making it hard for her to do anything. She wanted to change Dragon Alert to Idol Alert sooner, but she had no help from management. So Idol had a large management issue, it seems like. Idol had a management issue, and I'm glad that Brave seems to be working towards fixing that, fixing a lot of the issues that Idol had. We already had, you know, we had the, the things that happened in the past, the people leaving Idol on not the best terms, and that all seems to management, management, management. I put that all on Aviel and the people who were there at the top. They failed their talents by not making management a priority. Now, they may have gotten in over their heads. It's not, I'm not taking it as a malicious thing, but when you fail your talents with management, that's not a good thing. So Poco and Connie have both talked about it before, and I wouldn't be surprised. It's a big part of why both started planning stuff on getting active on their PLs. He has still decided to stay when we know it's improved. Now, I'm almost confirmed she basically just kind of gave up doing idle stuff for a while because of it. Idol really was a mess. Uh, I just hope, very least, new management will actually help manage them, and they clearly want. I still remember the last idle alert episode where Kai relied on management to make the assets, and the whole stream was basically her and Enya joking about and trying to work around the assets they were given being completely unusable. So big management issues in um, in Idol, it seems. All these things, it, it, it leads to, that's why Idol probably decided to give up and just be done and you know move on to Brave Group. Brave scooped them up and is actually trying to fix the issues, which is insane. It's an insane amount of money to do that. It's insane to actually have that happen and have this be proven uh, circumstantially, of course, there's circumstantial evidence, but have this be shown again and again. We have uh, Pochi Wanmaru, who was basically had um, management issues as well, and that's why she decided to leave. They talked it through and they left on better terms, but management was an issue. I just wanted to see how where this goes. I'm glad that that Brave seems to be making good steps. Good enough for this person here, Momo Otako, who was just given up on everything, decided to come back with a new personality. That says a lot about Brave, and it also says a lot about the, the mismanagement that Idol had, and it honestly ticks me off that this happens so much in the industry. Welcome everybody to today's VTuber Showcase, the place where I try to give back to the community who has given so much to me and made my life a much better place. I'm trying to show you guys a lot of VTubers who maybe you may not have seen before. Today, we're doing Nayue, which I hope I'm saying right. I apologize if I'm not, Nayue Yume, the Daydream Kitty VTuber. They are on Twitch primarily, Twitch and YouTube as well. Let me see if I can get their YouTube channel for you. But right now, we're going to take a look at their Twitch. And we're going to take a look at one of their little things here. This one? No, it's not that one! It's not that one! <laughs> good times, good times there. Weird cake you got there. Yes, that was a weird cake you got there. Of course it wasn't that one. Of course it wasn't that one. Now let's take a look at the About section so we can get a little bit more feeling. <laughs> Of, of what is going on here with her and it says um basically going through uh hello my name's naiwe so glad to meet you and happy you taking the time to even check me out it's my dream to become a successful vtuber and have an amazing positive community with me so i hope that you stick around on this journey love everything about pokemon and zelda love learning about different things and love laughing maybe too much and entertaining others 
and they seem to be doing a really good job of it. I'm going to take you to their YouTube so you guys can see what's going on there. And maybe you can follow this here too. This YouTube seems to be more related to their uh, shorts, which is fine. Right now they have 115 subscribers on there. Let's take a look uh, at another short. Oh, oh, thank you for the heady pat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so, yeah, really cute. Uh, really just energetic. It's just, I, I like that kind of infectious energy. And that's why I decided to show them to you today. Thank you so much, Nayue, for being a part of this VTuber showcase. I hope that this helps you along in your journey and helps you achieve your goals. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.